so we uh we did unlock a new ship we unlocked the taurus um which is the ng ship uh which starts us right off the bat with some ng crewmen but the loadout is a little strange so it starts us with an ion blaster and a combat drone so that does mean it's going to start us with both a weapons bay and a drone bay um i, I mean i guess we just go for it right we're going to have Captain Mika take Afterlife. Don't get too excited, Mika. It probably won't end well for you. And Julie Fish. The Faithful Crew. Um, Yeah, so I think this is how we want to go with this. Mika gonna die? You are almost assuredly not wrong, BB. NG medbot dispersal. Uh, NG nano medbots heal the crew outside of the med bay to reduce speed. Oh, that's kind of rad. I can get behind that. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Nothing changes, even though we are on the NG ship. So real quick here, we want to put full weapons. Oh, so that's interesting. Our ion blaster is a three star. And then the combat drone needs a good amount of power. Can I not power it? We have plenty enough power. It's why I name all my characters not myself in games like this. You name them all Vivi. That's probably for the best. That way you, you just never feel bad. All right. I don't entirely understand our loadout, but we can we can make a jump and see where we get here. We have no scrap to speak of, so I don't know that there's any need for us to go to a store right away. Let's go to this distress beacon. You follow the distress beacon to find a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. We are going to hail them. They respond, help, our shields are down. We won't last long. Uh, try to shield their ship with ours. We do have full strength, obviously, because we just started the game. Don't risk our ship, leave them to their fate. I think we have enough, we have enough hull integrity, we can give it a shot. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of the scrap and fuel they were mining out of the asteroids as thank. So we only took one damage and we got four fuel and 20 scrap out of it. Um, that's a pretty good haul in my opinion. We did also start a fire though. And we lost more hull because of the fire. Not too bad, though. I mean, I still think two hull for what we got out of the deal is pretty worth. All right. I got to remember, let's set these as the standard crew spots. Rebellion's not on our tail just yet, so we can afford to do some small jumps here. Spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you in your ship. So we've we've been largely flying as the good guys when we've been doing FTL. This is now what? Six. This is our sixth run. Um, I think I think we're gonna just have to go for it and and realize that this mission's bigger than us. We're gonna demand the surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. Looks like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Well, I'm not going to let you. Ow. That hurt bad. What is that? It's an ion intruder? What the hell does that mean? Um, not paying attention because an ion intruder scared the shit out of me. We don't have enough power for the combat drones. So I just can't power them up all the time is what it looks like. So we're going to put one on auto fire and hopefully that drone will be able to take care of things. We want to kill this ion invader, but I don't want to get myself hurt in the process. And we do want the weapons team and all that to continue doing its thing. Their shields are down. Their engines are offline. They're hurting, for sure. Send Mika back in to see if he can't finish off this Ion Invader, and then he's going to have to patch that hull breach. 
Um, so we're gonna have to play a little hot potato. Ooh, you searched the ship and discovered that its cargo was new military grade weaponry. Get the drone out? Oh, do they go away? Um, it was somehow undamaged in the fight and you can easily be mounted on the ship. An ion bomb and some scrap. Were you saying, um, the enemy drone? Oof. Almost waited too long there. I do kind of like having um, the med bay directly next to the cockpit. Um, or at least a little. I feel like it's more centrally located on the Taurus than it is on the Kestrel. Um, really, it's just propulsion is the one that's super far off. All right. If we could perhaps get this fixed, please. So I believe... The first thing I'm going to spend any kind of money on here. We're going to buy another bar of power right off the bat so that I can power everything simultaneously. I feel like that is in our best interest so that I'm not juggling power. The ion bomb, you know, considering we already have a pretty nasty ion weapon. Don't think that's going to see much use. That'll probably get sold here as we go. All right. You arrive at a beacon located in a civilian star system. A nearby colony contacts you. We've got a rogue rebel ship harassing this system. Do you have time to find it? Um, yeah, if for nothing more than a chance to get some more scrap. Um, after far too much time spent searching, you are finally able to track him down. You go into the into the fight pondering just how much of a head start you've lost on the rebel fleet. So by picking this fight, they are going to get a bigger chunk of catch up time on us, which kind of sucks. Um, we're going to ion their shields as best we can and send the drone out. So I can't just power um, our drone system, which kind of sucks. That's got to get like I guess by deploying it I forget that drones take parts so that's why it doesn't just stay on I guess is so that we aren't in a situation where we're fielding combat drones when we really don't need them why is oh because my weapons took damage I was like why is shields not down it's because we took a shot to the weapons and it was just enough to knock weapons offline for a minute combat drone should finish out here good work the ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap so 15 scrap a drone and two fuel um not bad but we did actually take a decent chunk of hull damage there so i think the scrap is kind of a wash oh the drone system's damaged too I think it would be cool, as much as I love that this med bay is doing the nanotech, I think the NG uh, ship perk would have been better served to be like all systems automatically repair at a slow rate, because I feel like that's more in line with the NG. Sensors go wild as a nearby pulsar is detected. While you're attempting to recalibrate the FTL drive, a pirate sneaks up on your ship. Weapons charging. Prepare for a fight. All right. Well, we will prepare for a fight. And this time, we'll send the combat drone out straight away. If it wasn't for the fact that the uh, combat drone can't really be targeted... Um, ooh... Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Two drone parts, nine scrap. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fine. Well, no, you know what? I think I'm, I think we're gonna kill them. We're going, we're going hard. We don't take surrenders. Get out of here, you filthy pirate. You're no better than the rebellion. Plus, I already spent a combat drone on you. Got him. Two missiles, one drone part, so unfortunately not quite as many drone parts. Get a little extra perk for the uh, the added scrap, though. Gotta let this ion charge dissipate so that we can keep going ahead on charging the FTL. 
let's jump before it can hit us again. Um, we can head into a nebula. I mean, we can take a shallower jump. I do have to worry about them catching up, so maybe the smarter play is to start moving up towards the exit. Although there's way less to visit there. We can cut up a little later in, so that's fine. We'll go and take a short hop, try and get some more rewards. Death to the pirates. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. All right, so let's immediately combat it is kind of a bummer when we don't get the combat drone shot off first i should stagger a little bit but honestly if nothing else with right now that just means that the combat drone like successfully makes sure that the ion shot immediately disables shields Ooh, there you go ship explodes leaving behind some goodies some fuel some scrap i like all of it Solar flare is not what you live. Let's see. All right, we are gonna put out this fire right quick before we jump again. But if it shows that we have another flare incoming, we're just gonna have to jump. All right, let's go. Solar flare sucks. Uh, it's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships is offering a deal. Yeah, take my missiles that I'm not using and give me drone parts I am using. Aw, shucks. Alright, shields are back to full. Everything is back in order. Do we... No, I was gonna say do we want to put some more effort into the weapon system? But I'm going to be honest, I, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm reliant on both missiles and drones. Um, so I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to not worry about weapon systems unless we have a weapon we want to put in it. Because the ion bomb would require missile usage. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout is here. Alright, rebel automated scout. Let's try and stagger with the ion. So Ion's going to fire, and then we deploy the drone. We got a little assist there, because we also had an asteroid take something out. We're going to have to go and find a shop pretty early in the next zone here, if we don't see one on our way up towards the warp beacon. Three fuel, two missiles, 18 scrap. I'm fine with all those. It might be worth putting some more points into shielding. Since right now, we're not really hurting for anything else. So let's see, you're moving one, two, three. We should have enough for three more jumps. You arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. There is some unencrypted chatter between the ships. You tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Intact. I don't know that I have the tools to do such a thing. We have the ions, so if they surrender, otherwise we were, we're just going to end up blowing it up. Uh, we'll offer our services, though, if for only to see how this, um, this event works. They briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. Okay, so they came to the same conclusion I did. I'm assuming they're looking for you to have, like, a... Uh, like a teleporter so that you can do it as a boarding action your jump leads to a remarkable binary star system the view is beautiful all right i guess we'll make our leave here you arrive at the long range beacon a small platform orbits near this beacon looking like a fueling station of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices uh i think this is the one where it can like explode let's go for it anyway Oh no, it's just that they're selling wicked cheap fuel. So lose seven scrap, gain five fuel? Absolutely. Next sector, please. All right, so we got an NG controlled or a pirate controlled. You know what? We're flying the NG ship. Let's go to NG town. You've arrived in NG space. Oh, thanks for the follow, Mikashu. Um, you've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Let's hope so, because we gon' need it. So distress beacon. 
We really wanted a shop visible. Let's see. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive or else something of value left on board. I mean, I think we stop here. We board the station, right? Uh, your away team reports a wounded NG and a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells, the station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. Save the NG, save the drone schematic, save yourselves. So I, knowing that we're doing like the anything for the mission run, the drone schematic is probably the most appetizing. But my concern is if we try and save the drone schematic and we lose a crewman, we're down to just two crew. However, if we save the NG, even if we lose a crew member in the process, we're at least staying even. So I'm thinking maybe we try and save the NG here. It would not hurt for us to get another crewman and maybe put someone on dedicated shield work or something like that. Let's save the NG. Oh, Julie Fish. Sorry, sorry, Julie. <laughs> One of your crew valiantly grabs the NG and throws it into the airlock right before your reactor blows and the automatic blast door slams shut. You have no choice but to mourn their sacrifice and move on. We get Lexi instead. The NG was save offers to join your crew. All right, well, Lexi, you're the new Julie fish. Can we rename them? A bit hilarious. We would have just named it Julie fish too. It'd be like in, um, it'd be like in beer fest where the one character dies and they just replace him with the same actor. All right. We really want some shops. Stingy on the shops. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the, tra the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. So here's the deal. I think canonically we would be like, absolutely not. This is an NG ship. You're a mantis. Get the hell out of here. But yo, a mantis would be super helpful on the ship. <laughs> we have we have a distinct lack of crew that are capable in a fist fight. Um, so I'm thinking we shield him. Yeah, and then we so we can get a bunch. No, I think we're going to shield him. We need the we need the crewman side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship. Hi, Zass. Welcome to the team. He expresses his thanks and prepares to help you fight his pursuer. All right. So let's see. Zaz, where do I want you? I think you're going to go and man shields and keep them tip top. And then you're also going to be able to roam for boarding actions. We need our ion blaster. Up and running. Let's do it. Get in positions, ass. You're part of the team now. Drone enabled. Good work. Ooh, our shields just came up right in time. We need another drone, I think, if... We, we either need more weaponry, like weaponry that does damage, that I can aim and target, um, or we need more drones... Because right now, for one, we just do not have the firepower we're going to need if we're going to go deeper into the game. But also the inability for me to really... I'm, I'm leaving the Ion Blaster on their shields so that we have a free window to get the drone shots on target. Um, but it means that I can't disable systems like their weapon systems that are just destroying me. The ship explodes, leaving behind useful scrap. We'll take it. Um... A shop, please? A store. All right. This kind of forces us up to the north edge of the map, but I'm willing to deal with it. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. So more crew. Um, let's go ahead and first just get the hull back up to snuff. I'm comfortable with that. Uh, ooh, a cloaking... Oh, we don't have enough scrap for it, though. I was going to say that would have been excellent. A hacking station isn't terrible. 
How much does the ion bomb sell for? 27. Which will put us just over 100. So no real difference in our purchasing power either way. Um, we could buy the hacking station. So this would let us potentially hack their shields and then use the ion cannon once the shields are down on their weapon system while we're deploying the drone. Here's the problem though. Every hack requires a drone part and we would effectively just be blasting through drone parts at that point. Mind control station I don't hate because that's just that just requires that we shunt power to the systems. Let's do that. Um because at least Well, no, I I think I'm I think I'd rather save the money because we're gonna need weaponry. What we have right now is just grossly inadequate for what we're gonna have to deal with. So this shop's just kind of a bust, unfortunately. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded this system. Do you have any extras? Uh, yeah, you want five missiles, dog? Ooh, thank you, I'll take it. Uh, they thank you and offer their engineers to upgrade your reactor. Sweet, so we just have some extra reactors uh, space now. So we could, I suppose we could put a point into the weapon systems just so that we have the ion missiles as like an option. I think we'd rather save it and see if we can get some more drones working though. Uh, Beacon at first glance seems to be a junkyard. Upon closer inspection, it reveals itself to be a ramshackle market. One trader has a deal that catches your eye. So two drone parts at the market rate we just saw at the store would have been about 18, no, 16 scrap. So this is essentially nine fuel for 16 scrap, but it's also two drone parts, which is our only way of doing damage right now. Um, I think we do take it though. Right? Cause let's see, nine for 16. Yeah. Yeah, cause that's just a really solid amount of fuel and the drone parts, I feel like the drone parts are pretty common as just like a reward when you blow ships up. As soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from a nearby civilian NG vessel. Their captain appears on your screen. Strange bug. Can you assist in debugging? Uh, sure, listen to their problem. Found malfunctioning mantis. Believes it is human. Will receive input only from human. Danger evaluation. Extremely high. Provide assistance. Um, let's send our human crew member, Samika. This is your moment, apparently. The mantis is grateful to see another human and introduces himself as Robert Smith. <laughs> Hello. I am Robert Smith. Uh, he explains he's from a nearby human colony and would appreciate being returned here. So we'll return him. The colony is a mining operation that specializes in FTL fuel. Robert's family, the head engineers, are excited to see him and are very grateful for his return. Apparently he ran away to join the Federation like his older brother, but was never accepted onto a ship. Um, I mean, you can serve on my ship, Robert Smith. He graciously accepts, having always wanted to serve the Federation. Well, now's your chance, bud. Um, I guess we're going to send him over. He can watch the drones. With two Mantis now, I think I think upgrade-wise, the big get now would be a teleporter. Because we could send them over to go ham and then just use the ions to keep their weapon systems kind of suppressed. That would be the get. Uh, as soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage because you find a weapon ready to be installed. Hull missiles, eh? Alright, so that... We don't carry missiles on the ship. But that's actually kind of worth keeping in consideration. How many jumps can we get? Probably three. Holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space! All right, this is just the find a bunch of weapons run. Um, the hull beam 
does give us a reason to adjust the weapon systems. Because now the ions could take things offline and the hull beam could then be used to start doing damage. So how much would that cost though? We'd have to put two more pips into weapons, which is already 85. And then we'd have enough power, but we wouldn't have enough power to do the hull beam and the drones at the same time. So we would need another pip of power in the reactor. So we're looking at 85, 105, like 110. Let's go ahead and charge up the weapons. Bring that all the way online. Um, I just want to do a fight with just the ion blast and the hull beam. I think the ion blaster can keep things down long enough that we could actually put the hull beam to pretty good use. And then we don't have to rely on having drone parts. I think. We need to get in combat to test it though. We've had a very combat light NG sector. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? I mean, no, but also yes, because I want your money. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. We'll give it a peek. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here's their last known location. Added a quest marker to the next sector. That's fine. We'll give it a peek. I like, I like receiving goods for the services I render. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the asteroid field or it's too dangerous. We'll just wait for the FTL. Again, we're at full hull. I think we explore it. Scans reveal a number of asteroids with useful compositions. You extract some fuel. Nice. Just free fuel. I'll take it. So we can go to the Uncharted Nebula or the Zoltan Homeworlds. The Zoltan Homeworlds, please? I'd like a Zoltan crew member. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of a fair hearing. So our quest markers all the way down here does have a pretty clean jump to the exit node. Um, so I think we're going to have to explore just kind of down. So we can afford this one lateral jump, though, because we have the two nebula squares. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please. You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. All right, so it's go time. We get to try out our current theorem. Oh, and we have teleporting. Little do they know I was ready for this. All right, so with the ion, well, the ion cannon has to hit for our strategy to try and work here. You can deal with my mantises instead of my NG, thank you. Oh, weapons is damaged. I was like, why isn't this working? Because it wasn't working. Weapons back online, please. Charge the hull beam. We've got an NG fixing the O2. They're going to bring weapons back online here, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So now with our ions locked on their shield, it should keep the shields offline long enough for us to get more rakes. Yeah, like look at that. This is pretty filthy. And that's not even an optimal path for the hull beam. Um, it's just one that's kind of of convenience because it then targets their weapons and stuff. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of scrap. I'll say 32 scrap, two missiles, one drone part. All right, so now we can afford to put another point in the reactor and then it turns into a little bit of a have your cake and eat it too kind of a scenario. Cause if we wanna, sh if we wanna field both the hull beam and the drones, we're absolutely okay to do that. So let's go ahead and make that a thing. 
Beautiful. All right. Little less concerned about our combat capability now, so that's fine. You jump into a calmer part of the nebula. However, your relief fades as a rebel scout sh uh, jumps into the beacon and moves to attack. So they have drones. We want to bring their shields offline. They do have a two pip shield. That's fine. They've hacked our med bay, which sucks because that also ruins our ship wide uh, shielding. I need their shields offline before this hull beam does anything. Took a shot to our shields. That's kind of garbo. All right, so that helps. Shields are still taking a beating, though. Oh, God. All kinds of damage to weapons, so the hull's offline. I think we're going to have to just fire up the combat drone here. We don't quite have the output that would really be needed to make the hull laser our the hull beam our only weapon. Our drone's offline. That's awful. Ooh, things got real bad real quick. Um Yikes. Oh boy. This may have turned into Yep. Well, there it is, folks. Man. So uh, we were doing pretty well with the drone tactic. And I'm going to be honest, I think I just got away from it too quick. I, I was so concerned about the drone parts being a non-renewable resource. Well, a, a, a non-easy renewable resource that I was somewhat uh, dragged into a fallacy. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. 